patrons of the show. Yeah, and uh, I also wrote it. That's it's in the program. Fine. Um, in case of emergency, hopefully not. Uh, you should probably use the emergency exits. There's one where you came in. There's one right out that door, and one back there around the corner in the hallway. The show is just under two hours, and there will be one ten-minute intermission. You know that? That's it. Yeah. Thanks. Enjoy the Enjoy show. The show. hands-on directing. I don't think your hands are ever off. Just say that like it's a bad thing. You have to be hands-on to be successful in this business. The business of amateur filmmaking. Not going to be amateur for long. So, today. Today. What's on tap for today? Isn't that your job? What? Mr. Director? Co-director. Right. And John has the schedule. Uh, we're going to stick to it like glue today. Well, I should hope one of you has it. Well, yeah. Uh, hand me the camera. Alright, tell me where I'm going with this. With the boom? Yeah? Well, I don't know yet. Uh huh? The actors aren't here yet. But once the actors get here, we'll block out the scene and see where you're You don't have the scene blocked yet? The actors aren't here well, yet. Duh, but shouldn't you have something to tell them when they do, in fact, have to, you know, act? I like <laughs> to work with the space first. Makes things seem more natural. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Oh, so check this out. I know this is rough, but what if we have Dylan start facing towards that field, and we can get that vista in the background? Because that'll look nice. I mean, really nice. Yeah. And he'll deliver his first few lines away from the camera. We can insert some face shots when we want. And when he whips around, we need to shock the audience. You know, prep for Felicity's big moment. Shouldn't the shocking come after? Uh, bear with me, bear with me. So, when the big moment happens, you can tuck in right above Felicity to, to maximize the, the silence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Silence. <laughs> you know, after the shock. Okay. Um, what's the big moment? What? What is it? What is what? The big moment. The breakup? Is that it? Yes! Well, that's what I was asking! Lauren, you've read the script, right? No. Why not? I was just doing what you guys told me to do. Did we not tell you to read the script? Apparently not. Well, obviously, if you had. I didn't think I would have to tell you. Look, I'm sorry. It wasn't very Why not? It's full of following your directions. If you weren't so good at your job, I'd be mad right now. I'm trying. Uh, Lauren, trust me when I say this. Things will be much easier for the both of us if you read okay. the script. Okay, I'll read it tonight. Uh, after you edit. Yeah, I'm not dumb. Of course I'm editing first. Good girl. So, as I was saying, the big moment happened. John is here. Good, he'll want to hear this. Uh, hear what? The plan. Oh, we have a plan? Well, I <laughs> All right, well, let me hear it. I have a plan as well, so we'll see how things line up. Okay, so check this out. I, I know this is rough, but what if we have Dylan start facing that field and... Uh, okay, where are the other actors? Uh, there's best friends, they'll obviously be eavesdropping. We'll put them more towards the road, behind the... What are those, onions? Yeah, okay, behind the onion hatch. Yeah. So he'll deliver his first few lines away from the camera. We can insert some face shots when we want. When he whips around, we need to shock the audience. You know that. Prep for Felicity's big moment. Shouldn't the shock come after the moment? That's what I said. No, hear me out, hear me out. Uh, people are so used to the climax of a scene being so obvious, right? Building up and up and up to boom, something happens, you know? But I, I want this to feel different. It, like a breakup really feels. You know how it happens and it doesn't really register at first. So you want the impact to come before the breakup? No, the breakup is the impact. I don't think that's what you're saying. Look, you've been broken up with, right? Yeah, I mean, I did write this, you know, from experience. Write what you know and all that. You hear these words, I can't do this, or it's not you, it's me, if we're being cliche, which we're not, but <laughs> the gut punch. I want the moment to come before that for Ryan, so we can maximize that, feeling that. Hit on film. Get what I'm saying? I, I do, and that silent sadness is still in specialty, but is that going to come across? If we know what's going on, the audience will. I'll take your word for it. 
What's your idea? Well, what if we just did a two shot? The whole scene? Well, not the whole scene, just that dialogue. I'm skeptical. I feel like it gives the actors a chance to act, you know? We just need to- which, where are the actors? Late is what they are, again. Of course. Uh, how about you call Dylan and Brian, and I'll call Felicity, Naomi, and Morgan, and Colleen is a last resort if she's not carpooling. Why are you calling all the girls? Just call, please. Give them some time. This place is hard to get to. This is their job. They should be here at call. But this is the reason we're still behind. Matt, jobs usually involve paying somebody. They're late. It's okay. We'll just have to rush a bit. Hey, we can't rush something like- Hey, where are you? <laughs> Shit, you missed it. Hold on. Hey. Yep. Cool. I see you. Hey, let them off easy. They need a morale boost. Really? Yeah, really. I thought things were going pretty well. Well, how would you know? You've never directed before. Well, that's why I have Matt. He's helping me out with the technical stuff while I try to get my script on its feet, my vision. What about his vision, co-director? I thought it was the same vision, personally. Isn't that why you introduced us? You guys should have a talk about that. What? Not my fault. Look, next time you can drive, then you can turn to a go, all right? Oh, come on! It was fun! I've never been to the other side of the river before. A little pre-shoot adventure. Before we come to the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, well, your adventure caught this precious daylight. We're supposed to call action in ten minutes, and the sun's halfway down the sky. Just, just fix it in post. Fix it! I wish we could fix this in post. Do we need to be memorized for mm. ever? <laughs> you know it makes it easier. Well, I enjoy making your life hell. Oh, trust me, I know. Did you guys manage to hit every traffic light in the state? We're behind already. Please, like I follow traffic laws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not getting a ride with you again. Um, Colleen, don't you have a car? I'm wearing flip-flops. It's dangerous to drive in the... Let's just get the ball rolling on this thing, <laughs> okay? I called the girls, they're on their way. Uh, Naomi too? Yes, she is in this movie. Awesome, are we like... No, Brian, you're not kissing today. Okay, our characters are dating. Let's, like, make this thing happen, come on. Can we... I might actually go on a testosterone. <laughs> Hey Matt, uh, what scene are we shooting today? Uh, Twelve. Twelve? And uh, we'll say take one. And what's the first shot called? Any ideas, anybody? No, we don't know what the first shot is. We actually don't even know what we're shooting today, Matt. Should we probably have more specific calls. <laughs> Just write, go fuck yourself. John, don't you dare. Too late. <laughs> Not what I did now. <laughs> Morgan, there you are. Um, here's the slate for today, here's the chalk. Uh, Can I put my stuff down first? Yes. Wow, sorry, I'm sure. Let me take some of that. Hi, John. Matt. Hey, boys. Naomi, did you bring the lights? What lights? Uh, the crate we asked you to hold? I'd take them, but I don't have the space. Oh, yeah, I kept them up my nanas. They're in my trunk. Don't scare me like that. Yeah. Morgan said they weren't safe to back there, but they should be fine. I think. I'm gonna go check on those. What's up with him? He's just highly motivated today. <laughs> uh, have you heard from Felicity? Not a piece. Oh, hey, did you get my text? Yeah, sorry, I was at work. Um, it's totally fine for you to leave a little early. Oh, you're the absolute best. I didn't even have to blackmail you. Yeah, well, maybe I'm just a nice guy. Who is it tonight? Trevor. From the cross country team? You've met. Oh, yeah. Trevor's oh my school. god, so sorry I'm late. I got caught up fighting with my mom and she was in the car and my dog was going this ridiculously long time to pee and I didn't even get a chance to. Do... Uh, we haven't started yet. Uh, I'll feel less bad now. For what it's worth, I appreciate the hustle. Well, I'm glad you didn't stop on my account. Um, Matt's just checking on some lighting stuff and we'll be all set. Are you guys gonna get into costume or uh, what? Oh, oh, yeah, I don't I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I the actors aren't responding well to Matt's stuff. Really, I, I wish we could work more together on this. No, just talk to him. That's all he wants. And that will make the best movie. And that's what both of you want. I've tried. Listen, from my perspective, it's amazing that this is even working at all. Like, you guys are in college working on a movie, and your friends agree to help you out of the kindness of their hearts. Perspective is important. Right now, it's a piece of shit that's sucking all my time and energy. 
Uh, vampiric turn. Positive thinking also oh, helps. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Do my best. You have everything? Uh, makeup, spare costume pieces, release forms, first aid, water. Uh, bounce boards? In the car. Morgan, we need to get you canonized. St. Morgan, the prepared. I'll be good for it. Are you happy with this? Working on not panicking. I'll be happy when it's done. And then what? Start working on the next thing, I guess. It's kind of all I can do, you know? Writing or panicking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the easiest way to do this. Hey, at least I'm not broken. Don't say that. I haven't checked. Oh, uh, should I find some wood for you to knock on? They're fine. I already checked. I'm assuming I'm holding this today. Uh, Kyle couldn't make it. Of course he couldn't. Uh, why do we even have a gaffer if he's never here? Because this is his equipment. Tobacco's equipment. Right. Can't forget our lovely friends at Kickstarter. So, if we bring it, do we have the budget for that? Huh. The budget. <laughs> it is too fucking hot for this! Seriously, we're in the middle of nowhere. Why would I be wearing my jacket? Is there a you can make you want to talk about this? Uh, that'd be Lisa, but she's in Prague. Plus, we already have shots of you guys in these costumes that mess with continuity. Yeah, and, and we don't want that. Yeah, uh, would be a continuity issue if I can put, put a sweat with this hat on? Doing our best here, Brian. You've been in worse costumes. Oh, hey, we do not talk about the Halloween. <laughs> Are we almost ready to play? Uh, just about. John, you want to run lines with the actors while Lauren and I finish blocking this out? I thought we were blocking it out together. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, actors, run lines. Where are we starting from? Oh, um, hold on. Uh, ah, um, top of page 44, start of the breakup scene until the goodbye kiss. Hug your up, Dylan. Sorry, what? Ah, sweet, I'm not in that scene. I gotta go pee! Uh, please <laughs> don't pee on the props. Of course not. I fucking love nature. <laughs> Dylan, you ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. Great. Okay, should we take the shot? Um, actually, Matt, can we talk first? You're doing this right now? Yes, it pertains to filming. What? What does? All right, fine. Just not in front of the cast, please. I know. Hey, I'm worried about Dylan. Are you sure he can handle this scene? Of course he can. I just, you know I wasn't a big fan of this scene for an audition. Look, that's not the point. Let's talk about that later. What would you like to talk about? A few things, actually. Um, first, did we decide on a two-shot, or no? I'm leaning towards no, and hear me out. It's just gonna confuse the audience. That's not a very cinematic shot, and everything we've been doing up to this point has been cinematic. When we storyboarded this, I showed you, right? We storyboarded this? Well, I did. I guess I didn't show you. No, I guess not. Do, do you want me to? I can get uh, it. No, don't. We need to get working. Um, we'll go with your idea. Okay. Anything else? Um, yeah. The actors haven't been exactly pleased with how this has been going. We're almost a week into production, pulling 10-hour days. We're obscenely behind schedule, and apparently, we're out of money. We can't ask them to give up their whole summers to this. They volunteered. For a month. If they work efficiently, like we asked them to, we'll have this thing done ahead of schedule. What if we don't? What do you mean? Well, once school starts up again, we're all back to college. We only have the summer. And even then, Felicity has that thing in the city in two weeks. She's AWOL after that. You don't think we can get this done? At this rate, I'm questioning We just need to whip the actors into shape. That short film I helped make last year. You saw it, right? Yeah, I saw it. We spent literally 14 hours in a garage on the hottest day of the year filming in front of a green screen. But lighting people were holding up bounce boards for hours. Actors could barely drink water so it wouldn't smudge their makeup. It was brutal and awful, and everybody hated every minute of it. But we cared about the project, so nobody complained. Not one word was uttered that didn't pertain to the film. It was beautiful, and the shot was absolutely perfect. Granted, it uh, didn't get used, cut for time, but, you know, that's filmmaking. And it's beautiful. Uh, can we really ask these guys to do that, though? I mean, these are our friends. And they and love this project. They have to, or else they wouldn't have agreed to make it. 
They love your writing. Everybody does. Me especially. Really? If you weren't here, there wouldn't be a movie. Okay? You have to trust me on this. Partners, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's make today good. You better believe it's going to be good. Places! Hey, uh, question. Uh, we're going to get these guys covered first. Do you guys mind waiting a bit? I know it's a drag man. Okay. <coughs> sure, uh, we'll be, uh, by the, uh, onions? Are, are those the onions? They, I guess they smell like onions. That's exactly what I want you. Run lines while you're waiting. Cool. Why are we even here? I don't know. We could have at least called us a little bit earlier. Oh, I did not come to see for this. Late night? Oh yeah, I was, uh, you know, gonna play some video games with John, but uh, he was busy, as always, so, um, you know, sat around, wait, do one now. Yeah, uh, what about you? <laughs> Nothing, really. After shooting, I was pretty beat, so I just kind of passed out. Yeah, yesterday was hell. And today does not look much better. Yeah. Yeah. Why are we here? Are you being existential or just difficult? What's your motivation? Come on, seriously. I don't know, just, John had this up so much and I expect to have more fun, you know? Well, that's a bit pessimistic, don't you think? This is our choice, he didn't make us do anything. Yeah, I mean, I guess. I, I didn't decide to wake up on 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning, sit around on Brickman's farm. I decided to help John make a movie. So did you. We're here to help our friends, and hopefully make a movie along the way. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Did I miss something? You guys are just bursting with energy! Oh, ha ha. Matt said he's gonna get Dylan and Felicity first, then us after. So, if we're lucky, we may become my sundown. Okay. You guys, like, want to go lines or something? Oh, God, no. Oh, thank God! Now we're on the same page. We don't even know what page we're on. Huh? I was making a reference to before. When John didn't know what page the scene was on. <laughs> Thanks, Colleen. I'm sorry! It, it was funny! Could it have been a little more obvious? <sighs> been a stretch to come run lines with y'all. Thought you were gonna do the clapboard thing. Yeah, they're not gonna be ready for me for like a while, so let's just start top of page 44. Let's Whoa. go. Wait, wait, wait. What? Let's just take a second. And appreciate the sound of nature. Do you hear that? The distinct lack of Matt's ego and John's whining. Oh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> I can almost feel my blood pressure. Returning to normal. Are you done? Wait, wait. Something about ooh, the sound of silence? Both Matt and John. No, no. Simon and Garfield. John, <laughs> uncle. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, cool. So, top of page 44, Colleen, that's your line. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Fine. Ready? I'll be Brian. And... Action! Tough break, buddy! We didn't mean to eavesdrop, we just... We heard yelling. No, no, it's fine if I... No, you're not. Don't give me that look. I know this is killing you. I'm your best friend. Do you not think I'd figure this out? And I'm here to tell you that it's okay to feel like shit. Everyone does, and I'm your best friend. She broke your heart, buddy. She broke your heart. We all know how that feels. Yeah, it sucks. Sucks bad. We're here for you. The most important thing is that you just get her out of your head and know that we're here for you, whatever you need. We're on this trip together and we're not stopping here. Trust us. We're your best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, this is what I need. Thank you. And then he goes and cries for a little bit. <laughs> More crying. Just to skip to the end. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I love you guys more than anything, I hope you know that. Huh. Can you be like a little more, Morgan? I'm just struggling to get into the scene when I'm delivering my lines to Stephen Hawking. I'm not an actor, I'm just doing what they told me to. Yeah, well, it's a little hard to be your best friend, as I mentioned, oh, so many times. Yo, what blew up your ass this morning? Nothing, I just... Remember when the script was, like, good? Whoa, there. Yeah, I don't really know how else to really say it. I just, when we started, I loved this thing, and I wanted to be a part of it. <laughs> we all did. Yeah, so why now does it feel like I'm reading an after school special? I woke up early to make a fun movie with good people, not to sit around on Brickman's farm and make my clothes smell like dead. And maybe if Matt and John had their shit together, it'd be done by now. But no! I'm getting sick and tired of this shit, especially this fucking travesty of a script. Hey, stop it! Just, just read the line. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I, I think I was sleep last night. Yeah. We're all tired. 
Try not to let it get to you, okay? Okay. Do I really sound like this? Like, like what? Like, tough freak. Oh, that sucks. Shit like that. I mean, I have heard you say those things. And I'm not mad. John said he wrote this character for me, so I guess I'm just wondering. I'm sure this is just a version of you. Not the exact thing. You know, creative liberties. Shit like that. <laughs> oh, it's like a caricature. Goofy, sincere, gets laid all the time. So me, but not as smart. There are so many things I can point out in that one sentence. So, do you want to finish the scene? Then we could go back and watch them shoot, and, you know, maybe they'll get done early. And if you girls are good, I brought bagels. Ooh, a bagel for me, please. Are there chairs <laughs> out there, or am I sacrificing these pants to the dirt? Oh, I brought some. Chairs or pants? Both, actually. How do you think of all the, the things? It's amazing! <laughs> I don't get much sleep. <laughs> but, but thank you. Where were we? Uh, we were at the end of the scene with Brian. I'll take it from the end, just for you, Brian. Um, I hope you know that more than anything. Of course we do. We've known the whole time. Let's go home. Wait, 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 wait. we can leave now? That was my line. Oh. <laughs> end of the scene. Right. Well, no one called mine for a change. That'll put those two in a good mood. I'm gonna go watch the magic happen over there. Who's coming with me? Ooh, me, me. Want some of those bagels. Hey, uh, Morgan. I'm sorry I snapped at you back there. I really didn't mean to. No, it's fine. I get it. It's running on and you're tired, just like a lot of people. Yeah, but I didn't have to be so mean back there to you or John, I guess. I don't know. I just had to get it out of me. You turned the snark levels up higher than you meant to. It's fine. I get it. Yeah. I did a little salty back there, didn't I? Hey, I know you like her. That doesn't mean you have to be mean. Uh, sorry? Naomi. I know you're trying to show up for her. Just... Don't let thoughts of her get in the way of your acting, okay? Yeah, okay, that's not fair. You can't be omniscient and prepare for everything. Maybe I'm prepared for everything because I'm omniscient? I don't think so. Come on, all the bagels will be gone. Hey, how'd the line run go? Okay. <laughs> Great. Great. Are we almost ready to sleep? Uh, just about. We just need the actors ready. Cool. They look ready to me. Yes, I've been ready for like an hour now. Eager. I like it. Eager. <laughs> You're eager. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need water. I'm gonna get water. Uh, <laughs> can I quickly, please. Actually, this is good. Felicity, can you talk into the mic? Um, this one? Yeah. Um, <laughs> say the pledge of allegiance. Um, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. Right. Uh, what? Jack Stick. I, I don't have it. I need some. Please. What? I, I don't have it. Colleen? <laughs> okay, now we're ready, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now I get to do my job. Oh boy. Dylan, mm -hmm. what do you want in this scene? Um, for her to tell me what's bothering her? But, but what do you really want? Uh, for her not to dump me? Really badly you want her not to dump you. Now, I want you to really milk that. Mm -hmm. uh, Felicity, what do you want? I think I want him to leave me alone, but on a deeper level, I want him to be better as a person, you know? And the only way he's going to do that is if I break his heart first. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to hear. Other actors, make notes. Um. I want to see that inner conflict right from the start. Okay. Um. Can I cut in here? Uh, yeah, sure, just don't lose the angle of the light there. Oh, um, remember who you are, guys. Dylan, you're a scared, insecure kid who doesn't have a lot of experience with this sort of thing. And Felicity, or Amber, has just come into your life and flipped it upside down, made it hell and heaven all at once. And now she's just gonna leave? What's that all about? Got it. And Felicity, you've got a good head on your shoulders, and you know what you're about. You've got your plans and your talent, and that's what makes you so goddamn appealing. But this guy, this awkward little dork, has made you question everything. But he's not ready for you, as much as you wish he was. Perfect. Okay. 
Thank you. No, thank you. This is easy. All right, come on. Mike is half done already. Can we please start? Jesus Christ, let's move. Oh, we have batteries in the car, right? Morgan, you ready? Ready. Actors? Quiet on set. Camera roll. Audio rolling. Slate. Scene 12. Go fuck yourself. Take one. <laughs> That's gonna bug me. Okay. Action. Amber. Ryan, you can't. You can't play. Make sure you're okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm your boyfriend. Yeah, I know that. So, what is it? Why are you being so weird? Because you can't trust me. What? No, of course I can't. Not like I know your phone password kind of trust. A real trust. Like, you don't believe me when I say I'm having a good time. I just really want to make you happy. I am happy. I've been having a great time this past month, but you can't accept the fact that you're doing something right, and, and I can't I'll, deal I'll with that. I'll fix that. I'll listen to you more. Look, I know. I've got some confidence issues. Ryan, I can't give you what you need. <clears throat> Not right now. Amber. I'm sorry. Tell the gang I said goodbye. Cut! Uh, what was wrong? What happened? Can they finish? That didn't feel right. Also, are we sticking with the gang? Yes, it's working. But that was, I mean, come on, it was all right at least. Also, the angle the light moved a bit, it didn't look natural. I... All right, my bad. Um, John, was that okay? I know it's only the first tape, but I just want to know what you think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think you captured it really well. Um, Amber never, in my mind at least, is really angry with Ryan. She's definitely frustrated right now, but her reactions come more out of pity, and she genuinely thinks it's in his best interest. And I think you got that balance right. No, really good. Does that make sense? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, just uh, keep it up, okay? Don't wear out all your talent in one take. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're shooting that one again, but I can't too much with the cast noise. Okay, go tell him to quiet down for the next take. Why don't you do it? It's your field. They'll believe it more coming from you. Matt, you know they don't. Well, we're gonna start. They'll respect you whether they want to or not. Because they will fear you. And your acoustic expertise. Fine, but no, I'm doing your job. Hey guys, um, I picked up some shuffling and some other noises during that last take, so just <coughs> keep it down next time, okay? What were we doing? I can't think of anything I'm doing that was particularly noisy. Yeah, I don't know. Well, this is one example, but uh, Brian, I could hear your feet moving in the grass. It, it made like a damn rustling noise. What? And, and Colleen, you chew really loudly. <laughs> okay, I call bullshit. There is no way uh, you could hear me. Do you want to... I got nothing. Okay, well, maybe you don't hear anything, but I'm trying for this sort of thing, so... I don't know why I did that, honestly. Just please be quiet. Don't move or eat or do anything. Okay, okay. Come on. Or you could just go somewhere else. Oh, don't tell me. Okay. Somebody is taking over. I'm about to become a hunchback. Nobody? Cool. Um, Lauren, are we gonna... Okay. Yep. Um, I'll take over. Take a break, John. You are a beautiful person. Yeah, I know. Give me some director's instructions, director. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Stand over there. Yeah, yeah. That little flat patch right there. Okay. okay. All right. Now, Actually, back up a little bit. A little more? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, now bring it up. Up. Okay, yeah, tilt it towards me. Yeah, yeah, like their faces. Good. Not the eyes. Never the eyes. Okay? All right. Actually, come forward, forward a little bit. Right there. Good. Perfect. Quiet on set! Are you okay? Yeah, no. I'm great. Fine. I'm great. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Slate? Scene 12, go fuck yourself, take two. Mother. Okay, whatever. I don't care. And action. Amber. Ryan, you can't. You can't what? Make sure you're okay. What am I supposed to do? I'm your boyfriend. Yeah, I know that. So what is it? Why are you being so weird with me? Because you can't trust me. What? No, of course I can't. Not trust. like I know your phone password kind of trust. I need a real trust. Like you don't believe me when I say I'm having a good time. I just really want to make you happy. I am happy. I've been having a good time with you the past month. But you can't accept the fact that you're doing something right and, and I can't well, deal I'll, with I'll that. I'll fix that. I'll listen to you more. Look. I know, I've got some confidence issues. Ryan, right, I can't you. give you what you need. Not right now. Amber. Sorry. Tell the gang I said goodbye. 
wait. You're the film major. 
I'll leave it up to you. But that's not how this works. We're co-directors, remember? We're making a movie here. Yeah, but not if we can't finish a shoot day. I, I, we're already past noon. Uh, we're only supposed to be here for four hours. And I already told shots you left. how the two-shot wouldn't work. That's just how I saw it when I wrote it. Just you want to alone. reshoot the scene so I can show you? No, Matt, I don't care. You see? Can... That's the problem. You don't care. Sorry. What? You're not willing to make sure this is good or not? To make sure this is a good movie? Uh, by staying on this farm longer than it took me to fucking write the thing? No. Then we come back tomorrow. Are you serious? We're gonna push this another day? Why not? Matt! We've been shooting longer than planned already. We're already off schedule. We have lives. Our cast and crew, they're giving up their summers for us. Internships, going abroad, none of it. They're here with us. We don't get many more summers, Matt. We can't ask any more of them. We're lucky to have them in the first place. I'm honestly surprised they haven't quit already. Apparently you already have. Don't you start. Don't you fucking uh, dare I was under the that impression that we swore we would make the best movie we could. And you're breaking that promise. We have no right to talk about broken promises, Matt. Remember, our back What I'm talking about investment. right now is the fact that I'm willing to sacrifice for this movie. And you're not, and it's rubbing off on the cast. You're in a position of power, John. They don't see you and me putting it all out there for this project. They're not going to give a shit. They don't give a shit. Well, we both know what happens. We are at least in If you open your eyes for a second and stop looking through that camera, you can see plain as day that we are all making sacrifices here. Do you know how many nights I pulled at the gas station writing this fucking not thing? what we're talking about. We're talking about the level of excellence you're willing to commit to. And if yours doesn't match mine, then well, I don't even know what we're doing here. <laughs> Matt! What did I tell you about fighting in front of the cast? But where else were we supposed to do it? I'm not taking this much longer. Uh, I've never in my life I heard you say those words. Did you hear him? I mean, you think the writer would have a little more passion for his project? It's not his project, it's all of ours! We're a team, Matt, and you two are on. I don't think we are. We're playing two different games. Forget that analogy and listen to me. We're making a movie. And that is a fucking hard thing to do. Everybody makes sacrifices. Everybody is miserable at some point, but it's for the sake of art. Yes. It's hard. And you two have the hardest job of all of them. I've known you both for a while now, and I can't think of two more qualified people to do this. Well, then why can't I shake the feeling that John and the actors aren't taking this seriously? They don't take you seriously either. Doesn't that infuriate you? Of course it does. But if I can hear every ounce of breath Felicity takes before that final moment, I'll consider it a success. So you can't compare. What? You're allowed to just focus on your part. I have to manage every aspect of this project simultaneously. And if I'm not going to get help I need from the people around me, I will drown. That's not my personal weakness. That's just how show business works. Do you know why the actors don't take you seriously? Enlighten me. They're actors! They're the most self-centered breed of people on the planet. <laughs> do, do you think they really know what's best for them? You see this project from the top down. They see it from their own bubble. Their opinions don't mean a goddamn thing. But John, John is the bridge. If I lose him, I lose them all. John has to work with me. Do you know the second most self-centered breed of people on the planet? Writers. He's done most of his job already, and now he's just along for the ride. You're right. You need, and I cannot stress that enough, need to cooperate with him. But, but you need to concede a little bit here. No, no, I can't concede anymore, Lauren. I just can't. This has gone on too long, and I've put too much into this movie for it not to be what I wanted to be. Listen to me. Matthew Jacob Brooks. You're a visionary. You are a fantastic director and a fantastic person. And you are going to make your great movie. And nothing's gonna stop me. John! Uh, who the fuck does he think he is? He's a college student who's taken a couple film classes, not Steven fucking Spielberg. Jesus Christ, stop, fucking stop, pretentious, self-righteous. <laughs> <laughs> Did I make an idiot of myself? Of course you 
course not. You're not an idiot. I, I sure feel like one. On my own set, this. It's not how I wanted this to be. Things never work out how you want. You know that. You just roll with it. Yeah, but usually at least something works out. Is anyone looking? I don't think so. Am I good at this? <laughs> this? <laughs> uh, movies. Oh, I mean, you occasionally write them. If I'm good at something, and I know I am, I won't stop doing it. I'll be the freaking Terminator on a script when I know it's good, but I just don't know anymore with this. Why not? Uh, because I'm miserable here. I, I feel worthless. I put in so much work already, and I just want to see it through to the end. But here, I feel like I'm just here to yell at Matt about how I think it should be different. And why should I be right? He has the equipment, the expertise, and the confidence. And I have paper with words on it and an affinity for 80s movies. You wanted Matt's help. You've seen some of his work and you like what he's done with some stuff, right? Yeah, but I'm starting to not recognize whatever this is. I'm not even sure if I like it. And circling back around to the good question, he's making me hate what should be a dream come true. John, you know that I'll be the first person to tell you if something sucks, but I've read everything you've ever written and none of it sucked. And when you told me <coughs> it was for me, I was terrified. You're supposed to be I helping. I wasn't sure I could do it. Your characters are so real, so human. Sometimes painfully human. I feel like they have these whole lives and stories beyond the pages I'm reading. I mean, Ryan is so beyond recognizable, it's almost funny, but that's because I know you so well. You caught that, huh? <laughs> that's because you put so much of yourself into every word, every syllable. If I wasn't able to be Amber for you, I'd feel like I was letting you down. So, yeah. I'm terrified. Well, I wouldn't have asked it of anyone else. That's what I love about this project, and you. You're so amazingly on fire about everything you do, and that includes your friends. You were the one who was back there sticking up for us. Damn right I was. This is your project, your story, your characters, you. You're gonna go back there and finish this day happy. And when all's said and done, anything with that much you in it has to be amazing. That's pretty good. I might steal that one. Um, when I get bummed out, I like to imagine Matt's face if you ever find out about this. What's your motivation? Think they'll be okay? They <laughs> <laughs> usually are. I feel like we shouldn't be as used to this as we are. Like, is it normal on a film set for the director and the writer to scream at each other and then leave for a while? Wouldn't be surprised. Making movies sucks. <laughs> At least I get to kiss someone, so. You know, we don't look on the right side, Dylan. If I left right now, what would even happen? Honestly, everything would fall apart. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Really? Why? There's a reason Matt and John won't shut up about how great you are. You keep them upright, and they're too busy stroking their egos to look where they're going. That's nice to hear. Well, you see, now if I left, they just find another skinny white guy to replace me with. We all look the same anyway. No, you are a unique talent. You have a good, sad face. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought I was just depressed. <laughs> You're great. Thank you. I don't really get complimented on my acting that much. That's mostly because I don't get cast, but that's another story entirely. Wow, a white male and that's not getting cast. Stop the presses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't seen you in anything, like around school. That's what being in the back row gets you. Mm. We're quite the eclectic bunch, huh? Yeah. As far as I can tell, Morgan, you're the only one here who's here solely out of the goodness of your heart. And for that, I salute you. I hear it's bad luck to toast with water. Oh no. <laughs> this is vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Are we late? Is lunch over? Yeah, we'll do this.
I'm sorry. Let's do this? Of course. No hard feelings. We're all tired. Excruciatingly tired. Um, how about we extend the shoot an hour? That'll give us some more leeway on making shots good and still get us home at a reasonable time. That works for me. Thank you. Well, it's not like we have anything back to do. Let's do this. Okay, Dylan, Felicity, let's do this scene a couple more times. Okay? Oh, for fuck's sake, I'll be the chair. Uh, who's on board duty? I'll do it if nobody else wants to. I'll do it. I don't see how badly I can blind Dylan. Please don't get up. Okay, quiet on set, everybody. We're only gonna do this a couple more times, okay? All right, so let's take a minute, slip back into our characters, okay? Take a deep breath in, and let it out. This is gonna be the one, okay? You guys have been giving us such good work today. We really appreciate you keeping your heads up. And ours. Mm, Dylan, I almost forgot. I got some chapstick. First plea of flavor. <laughs> John, you good? Absolutely. Okay. Actors? Yeah. Rolling. Rolling. Slate? Scene 12, heartbreak, take four. From the same place. Action. I am happy. I've been having a great time this past month. But you can't accept the fact that you're doing something right, and, and I can't I'll, deal I'll with that. that. I'll listen to you more. Look, I know I've got some confidence issues, but... Ryan, I can't give you what you need. Not right now. Amber. Wait, wait, hold on. D don't cut. I want to try something. Uh, Matt, Dylan, what are, you, what are you about to do? This, sir? But I'm still the one in control, emotionally. So, so why do you do that? Why, why <laughs> does he deserve that? Sure. Why should you give him what he wants? Well, it's not what he wants. He wants her to stay, but they both know that can't happen, so this is well, the see, next I don't day. want you to kiss him. Say goodbye, and turn away. Okay. Uh, Matt, I don't think this is the I best. I just want to try it, okay? Trust me. Dylan, when she turns away, I want you to grab her. If she doesn't want to, pull <coughs> her in, and kiss her with every fiber of your being. You're desperate. You're hurting. Take it. Uh, um, no. No, I, I'm not letting you do that. Don't do that. John, I just want to try it. If you don't like it, we won't put it in. Matt. No, this is a bad idea. That would never happen. I'm not going to let us waste time on something that I'll never let be in the movie, Matt. Yeah, we don't have time. I, I've been right willing now. to let some things slide here, but you are not changing what I wrote. Come on, John. I've given you a lot today. Are we making a movie or not? We need some room to experiment. No, not with this. This is what started this fucking thing, and it's the only thing I know is good right now. And if you change it, I... Uh, I can't believe you're trying to change this. The script is only one part of this process. But it's my part. You don't know these people, Matt. You haven't spent as much time with them as I have in my own head. These are like my children. <laughs> Changing that is an insult to them, an insult to the script and an insult to me. Finish the scene like I wrote it. today. So, I'm gonna go home. Guess I'll see you guys later. <coughs> yeah, no. Thanks for having us. Had a great time not shooting at all. Uh, Naomi, I'm sorry about this. I, I, I didn't I mean Um, I've got it. Go home, Morgan. 